In this video, I'll show you what the Prisma 2020 flow diagram looks like, and I'll introduce you to some cool tools to create your own Prisma flow diagram. The Prisma 2020 statement, an update of the 2009 version, was published early in 2021. The new Prisma statement incorporates advances in the systematic review methodology and terminology. And you'll find the references to the Prisma 2020 statement as well as its explanation and elaboration document in the description box below this video. So these are open access articles and a must have for anyone doing a systematic review. Now this is what the new flow diagram looks like. It is aimed at reporting the results and the selection process in more detail so that the reader has a clear picture of the inclusion process but also so that future systematic review teams can estimate resource requirements or to assess if a search is um, successfully replicated. So let us go through this flow diagram step by step. So firstly, you have um, this section uh, on previous studies. So if you are doing an update of a, an existing systematic review, you'll include this section. If you are not, you can exclude it, and so it's optional. And another addition is the um, specific section where you identify new studies that were found via other methods, which is put here. Um, now you'll see in this flow diagram, they refer to studies included in the previous version and reports included in the previous version. And here we have records identified and records screened and records sought for retrieval and their reports sought for retrieval. So we have three definitions that we have to clarify before we continue. We have the definition of a study, a record, and a report. Now, if you scroll up in this um, 2020 Prisma statement, you'll find the definitions. You'll see we're on the Prisma 2020 statement, and we'll find the definitions very nicely stated here. So here it states a, a record. Let's start there. A record, the title or abstract or both, of a report indexed in a database or website, such as the title or abstract for an article indexed in Medline, Rec records that refer to the same report, such as the same journal article or duplicates. However, records that refer to reports that are merely similar, such as a similar abstract submitted to two different con conferences, should be considered unique. So this is the records. Then we go over to the reports. A report is a document, a paper or electronic um, document supplying information about a particular study. So a journal article, preprint, conference abstract, study reg register entry, clinical study report, dissertation, unpublished manuscript, government report, or any other document providing relevant information. So the reports are the things that you're going to identify and review you know, your typical journal articles. Those are the reports. They are reports of studies. Now, a study is an investigation, such as a clinical trial, that includes a defined group of participants and one, more, um, one or more interventions or outcomes. A study might have multiple reports. For example, reports could include a protocol, a statistical analysis plan, baseline characteristics, results for a primary outcome, results for harms, results for secondary outcomes, results for additional mediator or moderator analysis. So you have your studies and the studies are reported in your reports, which is your journal articles. The most typically found is the journal articles, even a conference abstract. And then we have our records, which is the title or abstract or both of report indexed in a database. So that will make this diagram um, much easier to understand. So here we go, and it's very much similar to what was previously reported in the Prisma flow diagram in the 2009 version. It's just that now things are much more detailed, which I think is a good thing. So here we have um, any new studies that you've identified, and here we have identification of new studies via other methods, for example, websites, organizations, uh, citation searching. And you record all the reasons. But now, a very nice addition is that um, Prisma has also put together a very interesting tool you can use. Let me show you that. 
open in front of me is the Prisma website. So I'll put a link to this um, website and to the specific flow diagram tab in the description box below this video. So here you'll see that you can download the Word versions of the Prisma 2020 flow diagram. And then it will just mean that you enter your own numbers into the Word version. Very nice and user friendly. There's one for an updated systematic review as well. Um, so different versions that you can use. But look at this. Flow diagram can also, diagrams can also be generated using a shiny app available at. And let's click there. So yes, yeah, scroll down. So you can create your own Prisma flow diagram that looks like this, which you can just copy and paste into your um, thesis or dissertation or systematic review article. So yeah, you scroll down and you access it, follow this link to access the online tool. And here we are. So you can either create it by um, putting all your information in a, into a CSV file, a template that they have here. So you download the template and then you add your numbers in there. Also very nice and user friendly, definitely possible. But look at this, create flow diagram. Okay, so there's the tab that you click. And then you can choose to include, if this is a, a update of an existing systematic review, you can say include you know, that very first column. Or if it's not, you can exclude it. And the same for this side. Isn't this super, super exciting? And here you state how many articles did you retrieve via databases. Now have a look at this number. Let's say 657. And here it updates registers. It's just hypothetical numbers. And here you can state how many via websites and organizations. And if you haven't found any via websites, just don't add anything in there and you'll see that the word websites disappear. But let's say we found 54 and 44 and I'm just making some numbers up. Okay. Um, and here we go down and you can state the number of records screened, excluded, uh, report sought for retrieval. So all these numbers and as you go along, it um, populates the entire website so that is so so user friendly and um, one thing that this tool does not do is to calculate your numbers for example it won't calculate if you state that you've screened a certain number of records and you've excluded a certain number it won't take this number and minus the excluded and get to this number and these numbers should make sense because you can't say you've screened so many records excluded a certain number and then you, there's missing numbers somewhere between this calculation. Mm. You know, it should make sense. So in order to get by, um, I've put together an Excel calculator, which I'll show you just now. So once you are done, oh, look at this feature before we go on. Um, reason, so you can state the reason for um, exclusion. So you just replace the word reason one with ineligible population, for example, or whatever your reasons are. And if you want to inc include additional reasons, um, you'll see that it's very user friendly. You just copy this last section, copy it and just paste it. And you'll see that there's additional reasons appearing there. So you can modify this tool as you wish. Very user friendly. And once you are done, you can download the PNG. Look at this. And there you go. And you just copy and paste it into your own thesis, dissertation, systematic review. So this is a lovely tool. I would really recommend it. So here's a calculator that I've put together. It looks exactly the same as the Prisma flow diagram, but it has just got built in formulas to help you calculate and double check your own records. So if your records are not the same as what is calculated here, then you need to investigate and see where's there, where there's a missing record or two um, amongst your records. So don't just follow these numbers blindly. Do double check it against your own records. And remember to keep those records from the start. So what this Excel sheet does in the um, orange cells, I've built in some formulas okay, to add the right things up. And you'll see... I haven't locked these cells in case you want to modify something so that you are able to modify it. However, I did build in a copy 
of the flow diagram here in a separate sheet in case you by accident remove one of these formulas that you have the copy at hand. So what this does, it just got formulas built in to add up the, the relevant numbers. So for example, it adds up um, the 490 and the 10, which is just hypothetical numbers. And then it, it um, uh, subtracts these duplicates and whatever else you need to be removed. And then you get to this number. And then 443 minus 320 is 123. So it just does all the calculations for you so that you make triple sure that you are you have the right calculations here and here's the two references of that those very important articles and you'll see the same happens on this side and then it all gets together here at the bottom so i hope this helps i hope you enjoy your systematic review um, i love systematic reviews and i know you're also going to enjoy that journey have have lots of fun if you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.